Hello yard people. I am going to paint the sun. I have used spray paint to put down something that the water-based paint can stick to. Uh, it was just rusty kind of cast ironish uh, before I painted it. And I didn't do a perfect job because I had it laying on the ground and with some leaves around it. Uh, but I think it'll be fine. I don't think you'll be able to tell. So I got a couple different colors here that I'm going to uh, use for stains to go over the outside. This yellow I'm going to do for the face of the sun. And then this orange I'm going to use for the rays out here. And they will just um, stain it unequally. And then I'm planning on uh, doing the mouth red and the eyes blue. And maybe I'll do the eyebrows black or whatever, see how I feel. So I got some different brushes here. I think I can probably start out with a, pr a fairly big brush to cover stuff quickly. And so that the video is not super, super long. So doing this with, shake the paint real well. Doing this with uh, one hand while I'm doing the video is going to be difficult, but I've never actually shown you the process that I use, so I think this might be valuable. If I can do it without spilling. So I'm dipping in there. And I'm just applying the yellow so that it mostly goes into the deeper recesses. That's the idea there, is to, is to have the paint mostly go into the deeper recesses. So I'll just keep brushing it off of the higher parts. So it goes into the lower parts. Around the eyes and the nose is kind of what I had in mind. And the only reason this water-based paint can stick to the metal is because of that layer of oil-based paint that's down below. So that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I like how it's really laying up there in the nose. I think I'm going to apply a little bit more around the other side of the nose and see if I can get it to kind of lay in there and dry more in the recesses of the nose. It's probably a little overdone, so I'll probably take some of that out. Right, a little bit too heavy in there. I think that's probably looks pretty good. It really brings out the three-dimensional structure of it, is what I like. Okay, now I'm going to go with the orange on the rays. Rinse my brush a little bit. spilled a little bit around the mouth but there's not a whole lot of difference between the orange and the, the yellow which is I'm fine with um, I will take out some of that so it's not quite so heavy in there right It's 
kind of thing where you would see something like this finished and wonder how they did that, you know? How they got the paint to be in some places and not others. Or is it anyways what I would have been like if I would have seen something like this done for me? So that's it, and I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna paint the eyes blue and the mouth red and maybe the eyebrows black, possibly. And then uh, by the thumbnail for the video, you'll be able to see the thing completed. Thanks, yard folk.